March Madness has begun. With the start of the American Athletic Conference tournament and the South Florida Bulls once again have their sights set on advancing. They also recognize and are being recognized for what they've already accomplished, like a 22 win regular season for just the second time in school history. Still with a chance to set the team's all time win record. Multiple individual awards make it easy to understand how they reach 20 wins for the fifth straight year. <laughs> Coach Jose Fernandez wants his squad to enjoy their achievements, but also knows it's his job to keep them grounded and focused on the postseason ahead. A step back jumper, got it. Katia Laxa showing why she's one of the most prolific scorers in the entire conference. The rebounding phase will be very important, but this is a long South Florida team and a team you do not want to give multiple chances to. Coast to coast. What a great take by Laya Flores. Pull up jumper. No good. Five seconds for South Florida. Eyes on the buzzer. Pujol all the way has a layup. Got it. She went the full court in five seconds. Wow. The Bulls had earned a first round bye and were looking to open the tournament with a win. And defense into offense. It was a back and forth first half that had USF ahead by the narrowest of margins at the break. As six seeded SMU had upset on their minds and the Mustangs came out swinging in the third quarter. We're tied at 37, double team, rolling. Great ball rotation, Perry wide open and sinks it. Thomas, it got tricky there in the paint. Mackenzie Adams, tough take and makes it. It's the largest lead of the game for SMU late in this third quarter. An upset on the cards, Mustangs trying to get to the semifinal. The tight game was no surprise. The Bulls won the regular season meeting by a single point. But down the stretch, the March mentality of survive in advance was strongest with the green and gold. Three point SMU lead as we get wind down to three minutes left in this fourth quarter. Katia locks it. A big time three wow. from the sharpshooter. Dump inside. Jesperson. Terrific feed. The finish there from Tamara Henshaw. Four to shoot. South Florida's got to go. Flores keeps it up and it banks in. Laya Flores at the end of the shot clock in the bank open late here in Mohegan. Bolton rejected on a three attempt. South Florida's got it. That'll do it. South Florida survives an SMU scare and secures a date with the two seated Temple Owls for tomorrow night. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Good job, ladies. Thank you, thank you. You know, SMU was a tough matchup because they're just so big inside. You know, I, I thought Tamara Henshaw did a great job on the help side, and, you know, Temple's a very good basketball team. They got two really good guards that are very tough to defend. Coach Fernandez looked to the next opponent before he was even on the bus. His team and staff in prime tournament form, eager to battle Temple. That's why we live in Florida. As well as the northern elements. The Bulls were looking to play three tournament games in three days. Film sessions, meals at the hotel, shoot arounds and practices in foreign gyms. Tireless work that had them ready to take the next step. Four today, Bulls on three, one, two, three. Bulls. As they arrived for their nationally televised rematch with Temple, a team they had split two games with during the regular season, the Bulls could draw on the experience of making this tournament's championship game two straight years. And we're underway, semifinal number two from the Americans. Steps back and fires. And Atkinson hits the tough shot in traffic. The second seeded Owls and the third seeded Bulls. This was a semifinal rematch from last year's tournament. And South Florida fell behind early, but fought to keep it close. Quickly, Fitzgerald to Butts, a three in transition. That's all she needed. Loves the transition three, loves it. Jesperson with the stop and go dribble. Great finish throughout the trees down there. So one quarter is in the books. Temple, the two seed, up by three.
The tournament was a new experience for Tamara Henshaw, but the AAC Freshman of the Year came through like a seasoned vet, keeping USF in the game on her way to tying a career high. Down low, Henshaw really knows how to use her body. Sonia Cardozo needs to get a timeout. They have to figure out some way to guard number 23. Now USF is getting their mojo on offense. Jesperson, this time it's a three. Will give her that shot. She gets a little bit closer and knocks it down. She already has 13 of her team's 31 points. While the Bulls got their offense going after a slow start, rebounding and defense were the key to a second half that saw them hold Temple to just nine third quarter points. The screen for Loxa, then takes the return pass for three. Beautifully executed. Jose Fernandez told us, Katie, that what he likes most about his club is they can all dribble, pass, shoot, and defend. A lot of interchangeable parts. Temple now scoreless for two and a half minutes. All created by that smooth behind the back dribble by Flores. The putback by actually the seventh player tonight, Nancy Wariopa. Oh, how did she get that to go? It's like she wrapped it around. Luxa buries the huge three, and all of a sudden it's an 11 point lead. That's a dagger right there. USF led the entire second half, getting points from all of the players on the floor. Katia Loxa broke the school sophomore scoring record, and Maria Jesperson notched her 11th double-double, sending the Bulls back to what is becoming a regular March appointment. And for the third consecutive year, USF will be in the championship game. It'll be a rematch in the American Championship game for the third consecutive year, the same two teams, UConn and USF. Once again, the Bulls squaring off with the number one team in the country, an honor earned as they survive in advance, strengthening their tournament resume.